Hello everyone, it's Maria Russell here with you today and thank you for stopping by. I am back today for Newton's Nook Design to show you a process video of this Lift Me Up card showcasing the Toucan stamp set and coordinating dies with the new Uplifting Wishes just recently released last week. So I started out by stamping the images on Nina Solar White cardstock using my favorite stamping tool and I will be stamping a couple of images here because at this point in the process I wasn't really sure on how I wanted the card to look like. And I'm not going to show you all of the coloring, I'm just going to show you one here and as you can see my iPad was on the side there because I googled what they look like and what colors they normally have so I'm just sort of copying the colors that I found on Google Images. all of the toucans and I'm just using my sharpie white pen here to add some white dot details to their beaks and this is where I use the coordinating dies to die cut the images and this is a new stamp set by Newton Snook this is called uplifting wishes and that's what I'm going to use for the sentiment on my card and since I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment with white embossing powder, I was just using my powder tool there to get rid of the static. And now I'm just going to use my favorite Distress Oxide inks, which is Tattered Rose, Picked Raspberry, and Wilted Violet. And I'm just using my mini ink blending tool here to ink up my background. going to see here in a few seconds that I did a little boo-boo there. I kind of got some wilted violet on the corner and I didn't like the way that looks so I used my distress sprayer to just spray a little water to just get rid of that color. I'm going to use a border die from my stash to die cut another piece of 110 pound cardstock and that's what I'll use for my foreground. And I noticed just a little bit here that there were like black spots on my cardstock and that is because sometimes when you die cut a piece of cardstock and there's still some of like leftover goo from the sticky part of the die so that's what I did I just used my eraser to just erase that annoyance and it was all gone and it's back to perfect white
adhere that panel to an A2 size card base and then I'm going to finish the design by adding some glossy accents to the beaks of the toucans. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you like the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to check out the new stamps and dies available now at Newton Snook Designs. Thank you again for joining me and have a wonderful day. Happy crafting!